I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very good question on trigonometric equations. The question is, solution of the trigonometric equation cot square x minus b cot x plus c equals to 0, where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi is pi by 6, pi by 4, 7 pi by 6, 5 pi by 4, right? So we are given solution of this equation. Find the value of b and c. So we need to find the value of b and c in the above question. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now this is a quadratic equation in court, and we are given solutions. If you look at the solutions, then you'll find that these solutions are in quadrant 1, which is pi by 4 and pi by 6. So they are in quadrant 1, or 7 pi by 6 and 5 pi by 4 will be in quadrant 3. Is that okay? So these solutions are in quadrant 1 and 3. That is to say, we are looking for a positive value of cot, right? So in these quadrants, cot is positive. That's one thing. Second, the equation given to us is cotangent square x minus b cot x plus c equals to 0. It has two unknowns, b and c. Now, to find two unknowns, we need two equations, correct? So let us pick up two equations from the four solutions given to us, right? So let us consider these two solutions, pi by 4 and pi by 6, right? So if x is equal to pi by 4, then what is the value of cot x? If x is equal to pi by 6, then what is the value of cot x? We need to find it, right? Now we could do special triangles to find it. For pi by 4, the special triangle will be the one where these sides are 1, 1 and square root 2, right? So that is the special triangle for pi by 4. And for pi by 6, uh, we could have, uh, well, okay, so, so let me just sketch it here. Okay, that's fine, not a problem. So it is kind of like this. Let me do it here, okay. So pi by 6, let us say this angle is pi by 6 for us, then the triangle will be 1, 2 square root 3, right? So, so that is the pi by 6 triangle. So from this triangle, and even otherwise, you know, cot of pi by 4 is 1, right? And cot of pi by 6 will be pi by, this is, uh, cot is adjacent over opposite side, so square root 3. Okay, so that, these are these values. So if I use these values here for cot, then I have two different equations, correct? So let me use two, two values to get two equations. So if I write pi by 4, let me write down here. So we get cot square of pi by 4 minus b times cot of pi by 4 plus c equals to 0. So I am using the first value. Cot pi by 4 is 1. So this whole thing will be 1 square, right? So it is 1 minus. This is 1, so we get b. And here we get plus c equals to 0. So what we get here is our first equation. So I'll call this as equation 1. Okay. Now, I'll use cot as pi by 6 here. So we get cot square of pi by 6 minus b times cot pi by 6 plus c equals to 0. And cot pi by 6, when x is pi, pi by 6, cot x is square root 3. So we'll write this as square root 3 square minus b times square root of 3 plus c equals to 0. And that is 3 minus b square root of 3 plus c equals to 0, right? So we get second equation from here. So two unknowns and two equations, that should definitely help us to find the correct solution, right? Now from these two equations, 
how can we find the solution? So one equation is 1 minus b plus c equals 0. The other one is 3 minus b square root 3 plus c equals to 0. So we'll solve for this by, because c and c, we can take away one equation from the other. So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, what do I get? Let me show you here, right? So if I do equation 1 minus 2, so we have 1 minus b plus c. This is equation 1 equals to 0 and minus. The other equation is 3 minus b square root 3 plus c, right, equals to 0. That is what we get if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, correct? So, c minus c is 0. So, we eliminated c. Numbers, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Then we have minus b and minus and minus makes it plus b square root 3 equal to 0. That is what we get. Now from here we can find what b is. So if I take 2 to the other side, so I get, uh, if I take 2 to the other side, then I can write this as b square root of 3 minus b equals to 2. b is common, square root of 3 minus 1 equals to 2 or we can say b is equals to 2 divided by square root of 3 minus 1. Okay? So we get value of b. Now it is a good practice to always write the solution without radical sign in the denominator. So we'll rationalize it. Okay, So let me rationalize it and show it on the right side. So what we get here is b is equals to 2 over square root of 3 minus 1 times square root of 3 plus 1. That is rationalization, correct? Square root of 3 plus 1. Let's solve. So we get 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 divided by, this is a minus b times a plus b, so we get 3 minus 1, so that is 2, right? So we get 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2, and these 2's cancel out. So we get value of b as equal to square root of 3 plus 1, correct? Okay? Now, once you have the value of b, you can always find what c is, right? So, from equation 1, we can say c is equals to b minus 1, b minus 1. Now, b is square root of 3 plus 1. We take away 1 from it, so we get square root of 3. Is it okay? So, we get value of b and c also, right? So, now we can write down the answer. The answer is b is equals to square root of 3 plus 1 and c and c is equals to square root of 3. Is it okay? So likewise we can actually find both these values. So let's go through this process once again. We had equation with two unknowns. To find these unknowns we created two different equations using two solutions. So we chose pi by 4 and pi by 6. Substituting the value of cot for those solutions, we did get two equations which could be solved to find the value of unknown b and c. Amandil Kumar, I like you to go through this video once again, understand the concept. I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.